Well, to me, the bottom line is, can somebody do it? The, 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 I mean, there's obviously multiple aspects to this. The, the biggest one being, can you put asses in the seats? And sometimes, oftentimes, those are things that are within the control of the talent. But many times are things that are outside the control of the talent. Look at Dean Douglas and, and Shane Douglas. You know, so suddenly you're taking a guy who has all this acerbic uh, fire behind him for how many years in ECW successfully, and suddenly you take him and you make him a monotone, uh, uh, monosyllabic guy that is supposed to be the world's smartest man, seven PhDs, and yet somehow doesn't seem to have any kind of emotion or or or, or uh, you know human attribute, and one falls woefully flat. So especially in the WWE where they micromanage every single detail about their athletes and their talent, including what kind of promo they're going to do, how they're going to do it, what words they'll say, uh, then pushing forward to their in-ring performances, clearing it with uh, an agent or through Mike Rotunda as to what moves you will do or be allowed to do. There are so many aspects from what I'm saying that are taken from outside the control of the athlete that it really begs the question, how could you get over? If I've got to clear every single thing with somebody else, how could I get over? Well, today, enter as, as in so many other things, the internet and the social medias where like Trump's Twitter account drives people on the left crazy because every time he puts something out, they go running after it like a dog to a bone. Uh, well, in Finn Balor's case, I mean, here's a kid who obviously can, can do it in the ring. He obviously has those skills. So if the question then is, well, he's not getting over, my very first question would be, why is he not getting over? Is it something that you're doing limiting him? Is it possibly in the promos you're writing for him, as you did for for uh, Roman Reigns, suffering suck attacks, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, et cetera? Uh, and if not, when you have a company like the WWE that I saw firsthand, in my understanding, I've seen no change of since the time I left there, where, you know, I'm Vince McMahon and I'm in control and everybody's going to do what I tell them to do and everybody around me is going to agree with everything I say. I've got to believe that at some point there has to be some validity to what Finn Balor is saying. Um, now, you know, if if this is just a a gimmick from the company, and it's probably a smart one. But my guess is if he's going beyond them, I, I, I have a limiting ability to believe that he's going out and doing these things with the knowledge of the WWE and Vince McMahon, and yet somehow he's outside. Because this was the same the NFL, where the NFL claims we can't control what our players do. When you work for the WWE under Vince McMahon, if he tells you to fart on the left side of your cheek instead of the right side, you'll damn well do that or get fired. So, uh, but, you know, it, 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 to me, there, there probably has some overtones of corporate control over this. I don't know. I mean, it's it's something I didn't really hear much about until you guys had apprised me of it earlier today. So, uh, but I'll say this. I've been very impressed by things I've seen Finn Balor do in the past in the ring. And in my in my experience, people only tend to get better when they're pushed and when they're pushed up the ladder. So I would believe that Finn Balor can certainly fill the fill the role of a star for the company. And if he's not getting over without the the gimmick, then it's something that the company should take a very close look at. Maybe they are. I don't know. I, I've I've spoken to nobody about this on the inside, so I have no inside information. <laughs> 